Yes, so sustainable drainage systems are a bit different to traditional drainage systems that we see across our towns and cities today. At the moment, the water falls onto your roof, goes into your gutter and into your downpipes. From there, it goes underground, through the drains and straight into the river. If all that water rushes down all at once, that can cause flooding. So sustainable drainage systems mimics nature, looks at our peatlands up in the Yorkshire Moors, in the Yorkshire Dales, and we try and slow the water down in the city. So today we're building something called a rain garden planter, which instead of the water just rushing straight into the drains, it's diverted into a raised bed. The water there gets soaked up and slowed down before it reaches our drains and straight into our river. So hopefully then the water takes longer to get through our drains and the river's got more time to carry it downstream before there's any flooding. I want to get involved in the Soak It Up project um, because we are an environmentally friendly school and we're in an area, Moulton, which has a lot of flooding and the idea of soaking it up here would be our way of giving something back to the community and making sure it soaks up at school before it gets out into the community. The installations that you put in there are fantastic, very creative, some ideas that we wouldn't have thought about doing, things like the watering flower beds, uh, instead of just doing a watering, but something that the kids will love to look at. Pupils are going to learn a lot from the project in terms of pollination for the plants, something that we cover in science, uh, the idea of using fruit and vegetables, which hopefully we'll be able to use in the community kitchen, uh, and the idea of using water as opposed to just getting it from a tap and being able to use it from the water butts etc would be brilliant.